Coming up on SEO Lunch, Rand Fishkin of SEO Moz takes over the show. We take the marker to the whiteboard and discuss the past, present, and future of search engine optimization. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you. This mm -hmm. is the show where we take some of the top industry news from inbound.org, smash them together, and give you the breakdown of all the top web marketing SEO news for the week. Except... Except for today. Except for today, folks. Uh, we came across a really, really important article that sort of surmises what we always discuss on the show and it takes a lot of that information and puts it in there. Um, if you watch our show and you know, you're familiar with the typical search engine optimization practices and we're thinking, well, these guys talk a lot about organic, talk a lot about content. Um, is that really necessary? Uh, we have word from Rand Fishkin on his Whiteboard Friday program, which is a really, really great watch. Recommend it uh, to all who are watching this show as well. Um, talks about, and, and this gentleman, very, very prolific figure, from, from, from my money, maybe the most prolific figure out there, at least. Might, might be tied with Matt Cutts from yeah, Google yeah, as, yeah, yeah, yeah. as who's known in the world of SEO. Yeah, yeah, and him only for flame bait and, and, <laughs> and posts, and also because he's the guy that sort of dictates to a, to a degree yep. what's happening yep. you know, with Google and what happens when yep. you search for, for things like that. But. So this, this Whiteboard Friday is the only article we're going to talk about today, mm -hmm. article, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, because it is very important. So we do want you, we're going to have the, the link for you to go watch it. It's about 10 minutes, 12 minutes long. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to break down what Rand was saying and why it's so important, because it's a mm -hmm. shift uh, in old school SEO tactics to now this new you know, responsibility of an SEOer. Right. Um, and a lot of that has changed because of Google changing, of the web changing. Yeah. Uh, social media, email marketing. There's so much stuff now. Um, so this is a great watch for those of you who are just starting out again and those who you might be hiring an SEO or, or looking to finally start doing it on your in your own business. Uh, do pay attention to this article because mm -hmm. it, or this video because it is uh, just a forewarning of how things are changing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. One of the... One of the uh, the things that I really liked about it is he brought up, uh, does this mean that there should be a conversation of responsibility? Yeah. Because it's not just link building and keyword targeting anymore. It's, I need access to the design right. of your website. I need mm -hmm. access to the brand of your product yeah. uh, or company. Uh, I right. need access to offline media, you know, offline data, like what, all this stuff that a new SEOer has to work with. Um, you know, in order to get the, the metrics uh, increased and, and getting more conversions. Right. I think the important thing about the article is that the number one first thing he talks about is old school. I think you wrote old down and he writes on his on his whiteboard, old school tactics. Mm -hmm. They're still important to a degree. Um, my, my little note I put here is that with CMS services like WordPress out there, a lot of that dirty work is done for you in a sense. Things like the XML site data and things like that is taken care of for you mm -hmm. to a degree. Uh, a lot of that metadata is kind of yeah, you can still tweak it and everything like that, but it's taken care of to a good degree. You mm -hmm. still have to practice, but a lot of that practice now comes to some of the basics, yep. like just having you know good ti good titling, um, uh, meta titling, and good good metadata underneath uh, your individual posts, things like that. Yeah, and, and he talks about how link building and you know just seeing you know how many visitors did we get, how many unique visitors did we get, what's the mm -hmm. even the conversion rate to a sense is almost old sets of data yeah. like that's great that's an old set of data but what is new sets of data mm -hmm. like how many comments do we get right. on the blog or on our social networks mm -hmm. um you know what are what are the conversion rates through email marketing yeah uh, what's our mobile traffic like um is are the traditional media outlets like our radio ads and newspaper ads are, are they bringing in leads to the right. site and, and starting to kind of break stuff like that uh you know into mm -hmm. into more chewable chunks Right. I mean, this technology is here. Embrace it. You know, you can use it for more than just the typical uh, search engine optimization yeah. practices. Which overall, is great. overall, it's a sense of, and he says this too. It's it's the SEO market and industry maturing. Yes. Right mm -hmm. now, it's oh, absolutely now. Now you do have to have those conversations. Like, hey, I want to get into SEO. Okay, go out, go make some links for us. No, no, no. Like, we need to really think about how our site look, the look and feel, what our mobile strategy is, all, all right. this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I find this video very important because Rand built a company based off of old data. 
now you know it's interesting to have him come out and say here's all the stuff that's changing right. myself i'm wondering how is he going to deal with this right right yeah. like how is he going to deal with this with his own company seo moz which is a massive uh, seo company my personal opinion and potential recommendation here is just splitting up the workflow i don't think that you can possibly have in a good organization around search engine optimization just so this one guy comes in and looks at your website and stuff he even says you know you know in this article or in his video too like this seo person comes into a company and then starts playing with the website and like what are you doing <laughs> why are you tampering with our website and it's because there's so much now in what I write down here is like if search engine optimization is the sprinter, getting somebody immediately to your website, what's really going to draw them in, keep them coming back and actually have more pull and, you know, reduce that bounce rate and things like that for you is going to be the other half of, of or the organic half, which is the website and interface um, and uh, PR and how you've branded your website and how you've brought, you know, how you maybe created subscribers, things like that. Yeah. And it's funny you bring that up because I think that... Uh, for the small business, mm -hmm. there there's not enough of that stuff mm -hmm. of all these different channels. There's not enough channels for one for multiple people. Right. There's also not enough data because mm -hmm. they're not getting as much. They're not doing as much marketing. They're not doing sure. as much advertising. They're not getting as much traffic on social and the web. Uh, so I think that now, uh, and he says this. Uh, it's in actually in the <clears throat> in the whiteboard mm -hmm. description. He says. Uh, having more influence means bigger paychecks. Yes. Right. For the for if you are an SEO or right? right. Because now you have to be responsible for all this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I think for a small business, um, for an SEO or going into a small right. business, you, this, this is what the show is for. Right. <laughs> this is what the show is for. You could go in and say, okay, I'm not even going to deal with your your web traffic anymore. Mm -hmm. I just want to focus on either your social or just your email campaign, sure. or sure. just or just your mobile strategy, because you might be up against not enough traffic mm -hmm. and not enough content for their own website right? where you really can't even rank anything, right? right. Because right. they're not willing to blog or they're not even understanding mm -hmm. a content strategy. So right. you have to go in and say, okay, well, look, right. how about just email? Right. Let me set up the strategy just for email subscribers and send out emails since you right. don't want to blog and Facebook and mm -hmm. all this stuff. For, it's very interesting. Yeah, and for a small business, it becomes what do I want to focus on? Right. And okay, well, maybe I'll hire this person. And literally all he's going to do, as you said, is that email campaign, creating really great email content, um, calls, calls to action, asks, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so interesting stuff. Interesting to see uh, this shift come in. And, and even the previous Whiteboard Friday, which we don't have linked up here, but maybe we'll grab it in the show. Uh, when we when we edit the show, um, he talks about uh, some of those metrics mm -hmm. um, and some of the bad black hat <laughs> metrics sure. uh, of of old of old and how they're kind of uh, they're going away because because things things are smartening up the algorithm for Google and things like that are changing. Mm -hmm. um, my question to you, Matt, that I had and I really wanted your opinion on this um, is: Can we even call ourselves search engine optimi opt optimizers in this day and age? Um, should we be changing? Because one of the first things he comes out and says is people are branding themselves differently now, changing their titles to like online marketer, inbound marketer, which is sort of the kind of the same thing in a sense. Do you think that we even have a place for that in, in this day and age, or do you think all businesses should be sort of more expansive. Yeah, I think that I think that we should call ourselves web marketers. Um, I still like SEOers or search engine <laughs> sure. optimizers because a lot of this stuff falls down to a or funnels down to a search engine. Like Facebook could be a or is a search engine. Yep. Um, you know, Twitter can be a search engine. Um, Yelp is a search yep. engine. You know. Um, so you're still searching for things, yep. um, and you want to optimize for those different mm -hmm. platforms. But as a web marketer, you can say, I do email, I do, uh, you know, uh, pay-per-click stuff. There's all kinds of other things you can right. do. So it's a tough question. Yeah, it's yeah. a tough question what people should be re referred to as. And I think that the stigma that he talks about, a lot of people say, all these problems in the SEO world is because everyone relates SEO to spam, mm -hmm. spam and comments, spam yep. and emails. Mm -hmm. Hey, we'll rank your site to number one on Google for, yeah. you know, a penny. For a nominal fee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I think that what he's saying is we're trying to get away from that stigma. But I think that in a year's time, in that short amount of time, that SEO will just be one component. And then we'll have the rest of the all-encompassing right. web marketing. Right. Search engine optimization, which used to be the dominant force in online marketing, which was... You know, if you don't have this, you're going to get killed by all of the other black hat practice yeah. practicers. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, that's not the case anymore. And right. So it's going to become just a small component. Right. Yeah. Maybe maybe even to the point of 
come on in and, you know, what do you think? Run a test, you know, <laughs> run, run a speed test, if you will, on my website. How's this looking? Yeah. How's the page load? How, you know, how are we hitting for, for traffic on, through, your, through your report on Google Analytics? And then, okay, great. And now yeah. we're going to go back to the content. Yeah. Or the lines just disappear and it's just marketing. It's just agnostic, right? It's just, it's marketing. Yeah, yeah. It's just, here's what, here's our marketing plan. Yeah. It includes web and includes mm -hmm. traditional that, you know, there's no, it yeah. includes a spaceship out yeah. into, into space or whatever the heck yeah. the third dimension yeah. of, <laughs> of, of marketing can be sure. uh, of traditional versus the web. Um, you know, so I, I think that, Hey, in, in two, three, five years time, it's going to be all in one. Great. There so, you go. Just marketing. marketing. The title is That's just it. marketer. That's it. Just, you know, fess up. <laughs> it's time to just admit. So All right. What, yeah. What do you folks think? Yeah. What do you uh, think? <laughs> we want to know what you think. We throw it in the comments below. We know that you're enjoying the show because we're getting comments. So that's awesome. Uh, we just surpassed 700 subscribers yes. at the time that we did this. So we want to hit over a thousand. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Um, if you have WordPress needs, we also have a WordPress show uh, called Press This. It's right in the same channel. So if you're subscribing, you're getting that anyway. Yeah. Uh, so we do thank you for that. Slocumstudio.com slash blog to follow the rest of the fun stuff. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys.